Speaking of that, it is Friday. There were a few teams who stayed the course and tried to play tonight. And Chris Harris checked out a big rivalry game in Williamson County. Yeah, Brentwood and Brentwood Academy, two schools separated by 1.3 miles, yet have met only four times ever and not since 2002. And it took a pandemic to get meeting number five, but it's happening. And yes, there was rain, but they played on. And yes, it was sloppy to start, like right from jump. Very first play, Bruins quarterback Cade Granzo can't handle the snap. That's a turnover, and Brentwood Academy is in business. Eagle Nation is jacked up. However, ensuing B.A. possession, Caleb Lyons is trying to make something happen, but he gets the ball poked out. Brentwood jumps on it. That's an Eagles turnover. So we go to the second quarter. B.A. leads 3-0, but the Bruins are putting together a drive. Granzo calls his own number. This is how they roll with that grinded out football in Bruin country. And then from short yardage, it's Granzo again. Touchdown. Brentwood takes a 7-0 lead. Wave those flags, fellas. But then look at this. Bruins are kicking off, and they kick it short. And guess who it is? It's Lions making up for his earlier transgressions. Look at his big time. Races to the end zone. The Eagles regain the lead at 10-7. And I'll tell you, it was a big second quarter for B.A. Next possession, quarterback Taylor Montiel goes over the middle to Ian Scott. Wow. The Eagles get in the end zone again. They lead 24-7 at the half, and Brentwood Academy takes care of business, making it 5-0 against the Bruins with a 34-14 victory. 